good angle on the shot. Let's do this. All right. Oh, hey. You want to be in the video too? You got the suit over here. <laughs> okay. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Hump Day. We have a Wednesday a toy unboxing video, and today we're going to be diving into a, another series of the. Do you mind? Another series of the Muppets collection, which is provided from Diamond Select Toys. This is Animal. I ordered this guy with intentions of placing him as a display for the vinyl set that you see uh, behind me whenever we're displaying records. Um, we got this shipped in from uh, BigBadToyStore.com over in Wisconsin, so go ahead and feel free to check their store out. They have a wide variety of toys to purchase uh, spanning across multiple different franchises, whether you're a Ninja Turtles fan or a Transformers fan um, or a Muppets fan, and there are numerous other franchises to talk about. Um, they have pretty much anything that you need, and a link to their store will be in the description below. All right, Floyd, grab a seat, buddy. You ready to get into this toy? So, give you a little shot here of the front, side, and back. Um, simple blister package. We'll just go ahead and open this thing up. Not really caring too much about preserving the original package. Pure, so probably gonna be crazy by the way I open these things, but if you ever watch any of Lamar Wilson's videos, he uh, opens up his toys very enthusiastically. And he's gonna do the same thing. He does. So, unlike the Swedish Chef, which came with over 30 different accessories, um, basically what you have here, I'm going to do all of this, uh, everything is safe tied here with a bunch of plastic. Um, we'll just do a zoom in and show each of the individual kits or pieces of the drum kit uh, when we get a close up. So you get animal. You've got his hi-hat, his crash cymbals, um, snare drum, you've got his seat, uh, and his kick drum here with kickstand. Pretty much you have the full complement of a normal, of what you would see in a normal drum set. Um, so let's go ahead and I will spend some time to get all of these taken out as they're secured here in the plastic backing. And we'll do a close up and take a look at the articulation and the detail. Um, and again, this, uh, figure, like the previous figure, um, goes through great lengths to make sure that there's high quality with the paint um, and lots, it looks like there's lots of points of articulation. So once we get into the close-up view, we'll go ahead and dive deeper. All right, so moving in for our close-up, I tried my best to set up the drum kit as you would see any standard drum kit. Um, for animal here and you've got uh, in the back your throne and next to that are his hi-hats and his floor tom it doesn't look like animal plays with a snare drum um, either that or you have one snare drum and you only have a medium tom and not a small tom but I'm assuming that the two drums that you see um, below the bass drum are the uh, small tom and the medium tom. And then you have your crash and your ride cymbals. Um, again, they do a really, really good job at making sure that these figures are super detailed. So lots of points of articulation. Animal comes with his chain. Um, his legs are super skinny though. If you're planning on displaying this guy in a standing position, um, you're probably gonna need some adhesive pads to put on the bottom of his feet. Uh, and the same goes with the drum kit. Um, the drums themselves, or at least the cymbals, are on pretty thin plastic and they're not very rigid. Uh, so there's going to have to be some bending or some manipulation that you'll likely have to do out of the box in order to get them to stand upright. And if you're planning on displaying this on a table, um, even the slightest of movement uh, or push or force is going to knock these guys over. Uh, so I would probably use some adhesive pads on the bottom to get them to stick up. So the mouth has some articulation here for when animal needs to talk. Um, head swivels 360 degrees and does have a little bit of tilting available 
And uh, as with the Swedish Chef figure that we reviewed um, a couple of weeks ago, you have your standard points of articulation. Um, and actually everything here is anatomically correct. Elbows bend and extend and shoulders have 360 degrees of rotation for when you wanna place animal in a certain position. Um, the fingers are only in place to hold the drumsticks, um, but the wrists do twist and they also flex and extend. Um, and then here, the torso, there's a little bit of give and go here. Um, and I think, oh, he actually does. So you can actually spin him uh, 360 degrees. I don't know why you'd wanna do that. Um, but meant to be put in a seated position. So the legs here will allow him to sit on his chair as the knees flex and extend. His ankles also allow you to uh, plantar flex um, or dorsiflex the feet. Uh, the toes themselves are not movable. Um, again, lots and lots and lots of detail. None of the paint bleeds. High quality action figure from Diamond Select Toys. He's got his flame shirt on here. Um, really, really cool figure if you're a fan of Animal and of the Muppets. And then we'll take a closer look here at his drum kit. So, bass drum has graphics on the front and really neat paint on the edges. This is the ride symbol, which I think is identical to the crash symbol. And again, like I said, these are on flimsy plastic, um, but the paint detail themselves uh, is really, really good. So we'll set these things down here. You've got your hi-hat. Um, the drums, uh, sorry, not the drums, the cymbals of the hi-hat do not move. And you've got your small tom or snare drum. I think this is a small tom. Also painted similar to the bass drum, as is the medium. And then your floor tom here. Seats pretty basic. And the kick pedal actually does have one point of articulation, um, which I thought was a nice little detail. So let's get this guy set up and we'll see how it looks in the vinyl stand. Okay, so we have Animal with his drum kit set up on the top of this vinyl display furniture. And uh, currently the space is pretty crowded, so I'm probably planning on using Animal as a replacement for the next couple of weeks to take the place of this masterpiece Soundwave Transformer figure that we've been using to showcase um, whatever record that we're currently playing in the home. Right now, it's the new Abnormal by The Strokes. Fantastic record. I recommend you picking this up if you're a fan of the band or if you need some good rock music to listen to to get your mind off of some of the madness of 2020. Um, but all in all, really, really cool figure, especially if you're the fan of the Muppets, um, or in my case, if you want something kind of neat to display next to your records. This uh, is an excellent toy, but the only gripe that I have about it is when you're setting up the drum kit, it can be frustrating as these cymbals and the small and medium tom drums are on flimsy plastic, so they get knocked over pretty easily. Uh, and again, I think a quick fix for that would be to put some small adhesive on the bottom, um, something that isn't gonna damage any type of furniture that you're gonna be displaying it on, um, that will just help to give it a little bit more stability when you are displaying the figure on a table for people to look at. So there you have it. Another unboxing video this week is the Muppets animal figure from Diamond Select Toys, uh, guest starring two dogs, uh, which always make the videos a little bit more fun. But thanks again for your time. Go ahead and smash the like button. Feel free to subscribe. We're going to continue making content and hopefully we'll get better at it from week to week. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.